Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Although my channel is called The Cozy Shire, so should I really be saying welcome to the Shire? Let me know below if you would like it more if I say welcome to the Shire instead of welcome to my channel. Either way, my name is Rebecca and I am a full-time stay-at-home mom and a part-time reseller on six different platforms. I won't name them all this time, but if you're interested, you can check it out in the description and I list them all there. So today's video is going to be part two of my death to my death pile series. So as you can see in this lovely corner over here, there, my death pile looks a lot neater than it did in the last video. So we're making progress. The next couple of videos in the series are going to be a lot of little mini hauls. I'm planning on just showing you guys the items that are in my death pile before I photograph and list them. And honestly, I don't remember everything that's been in my death pile either. So it's kind of a thrift haul for everybody. Now I'm only planning on hauling about 10 items at a time, which doesn't sound like a lot, but as a full-time stay-at-home mom, I have a toddler and a baby, and I don't have a whole lot of time to do my reselling. So I'm kind of on the cusp of saying I'm either a part-time reseller or a hobby seller. Um, but I do it more than just a hobby, I feel like. So So either way, I can only do so many items in a week, and I think 10 is going to be the best option for me to start with right now. Now, if I get all 10 photographed, then I will pull some more items out of my death pile and probably talk to them in the video afterwards. So before we get into today's haul of my next 10 items that I'm going to photograph and list, I wanted to kind of jump back to my first video when I did a what sold for December of 2021. So in that video, I had mentioned that I had sold a unique brand leather jacket and that a case had been opened on Poshmark for a return. And I kind of wanted to tell you guys what ended up happening with that. So kind of a synopsis of what the case was about is the guy who received it said that the jacket didn't fit him and that my measurements were wrong. I always put measurements in my listings just because I feel like it makes it more likely for someone to buy the item. Obviously it opens me up to some issues like in this case, but most of the time I don't have any issues with it and I think it does help the buyer. So this gentleman was saying that I was off by like three inches. Now I don't have the item anymore and I don't take pictures of when I do measurements. It's just a personal preference. I don't like doing that. Um, so I don't, I don't know, I have no way of verifying that I, you know, did I measure it wrong? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> maybe I had an off day and was reading my numbers wrong or, or something, I don't know. So he opened up a case saying that the item was not as described because of the measurements. Now Poshmark typically does not return, except returns for fit, but he opened the case and they asked him for a bunch of pictures of his measurements and you know, I saw the pictures too. I don't, I can't say he's measuring incorrectly and they were definitely different than mine. So I'm not sure what exactly happened between his measurements and my measurements. I got a reply from Poshmark in my email and I'm going to share a screenshot of it here so you can actually read the words that they sent me, but in general, what they said is that they were settling the case in favor of both me and the buyer. So I got my money released to me and he got a refund, but basically also got to keep the coat, uh, which is fine with me. I got my money and I don't want the coat back. Um, I, it took so long to sell in the first place. I was just hoping that we wouldn't get it back, to be honest. Now this gentleman had been sending me messages he wasn't even sending me messages. He was commenting on the listing of the item, of the sold item. I don't know if he didn't understand how messages work on Poshmark or what the deal was exactly, but basically after that case had been settled, he sent me another message and he was like, hey, they didn't release my funds to me and I'm assuming you want this jacket back and they didn't send me a packing or they didn't send me a return label. Can you like nudge them to release my funds or give me a return label. And I, w I was basically done with this guy at this point. Um, I just, I don't like dealing with that. So I sent him a message back and I told him that, you know, my funds had been released and that it may take a few days for his to get, for his funds to be refunded to him. 
and that I am not expecting the coat back and that he can do with it what he would like. And then I blocked him. Now, I don't know how you might feel about blocking people on Poshmark. I don't do it very often, but um, in this case, he just, I think he thought I could solve the problems for him and I can't, I don't, I don't want to sell to him in the future just because the way this case was. Um, so it wasn't anything like I thought he was a terrible person. I just didn't really want to deal with it anymore. And it was out of my hands, to be honest. It's on Poshmark now to refund him the money and he needs to contact them directly if he has an issue with that. So that's how the case ended. Uh, and like I said, you can read that email. You can go back and pause it so you can read through the words they actually sent out. Um, but I was very surprised. I did not think that they would ever side with both people, with both parties. I. I really thought that it was going to be coming back to us um, just based off of the fact that I put measurements in there that weren't matching the pictures that he took. So good on Poshmark. That was super impressive on their part and I hope they continue to have awesome customer service in the future. Okay, so let's talk about the items that I hauled at the end of my last video. So I had hauled a bunch of shoes and I got all those photographed. I hauled some outerwear, got all that photographed. And then there was a box that had two purses, two pairs of gloves, and a blanket. I got the blanket photographed. I still have to do the gloves and the purses. But those should be quick, uh, pretty quick pictures. And I plan to do those this evening. So that everything will be done out of that. And that was a lot. That was a little bit more than I could handle for a week. Now I'll also say I had an entire day out where I wasn't working this past week because I got my booster shot, which made me very sick. So I was down and really just worked on editing videos and even editing the videos was honestly pretty difficult because I was, I wasn't feeling pretty rough. Now when I say I photograph the items, that does not mean that they are listed. Like photographing items is honestly the hardest part for me because I don't have a great light setup. I didn't have any light setup um, prior to a couple weeks ago maybe two months ago. I didn't have any kind of lighting. I just used natural light and I don't have a great area in my house for taking pictures. And also I had two little kids running around. So it's not exactly easy for me to get pictures taken. So that is my main goal that when I have the time, that's what I'm doing is taking pictures because I can list stuff pretty much from anywhere at any time once the pictures are already in my phone. So those items are not listed yet. I only list things in the order that I take pictures in. That way I can just get them off my camera roll on my phone in the same order. So the items I'm about to show you will probably not be listed by the next video, but they should be photographed if everything goes well. So let's get into it and I'll show you the next 10 items I plan to take pictures of. So for these 10 items, I'm trying to pick items that I would consider as active wear because we're still in the beginning of the year and it's when a lot of people start working out or going to the gym more. So I don't have a whole lot of activewear items, but I pulled out the ones that I think apply to that category the most. So the first one is this long sleeve. I wouldn't really consider this activewear, I guess, but I mean, maybe if you're doing like yoga, it's got this cow neck, it's just purple long sleeve, really relaxed, really soft. And it's by the brand, it's by the brand Cuddle Duds. It says software with stretch. And it's made 93% modal and 7% spandex. And it's a size medium, so it's not really my style, but it is my size. I think that's one of the reasons I actually picked it up. I grabbed this from a yard sale over the summer just down the road from me, and I got it for a dollar, uh, which is another reason I picked it up. Uh, it also has little thumb holes if you're into that. I have no idea what something like this might go for, but the lady who sold it was moving, so that's why everything was a dollar. I have a lot of other items from her, which we'll see as we go through everything. Um, but yeah, we'll see what we can get, hopefully like at least $15, I'm hoping. The next item is this pair of leggings. This is a brand of Puma leggings and they're a size small. Show you the tag. They're like a bluish, purplish color with the black detail. They're in amazing condition. I don't even know if they've ever been washed. Um, 
but I got these at a yard sale as well. I don't remember exactly how much I have into them. It's not a lot, but there's actually, uh, we live in the country, so there's an orchard that's not too far from us, maybe 15 minutes. And um, they had like a big shed behind them. And I don't know, they had a whole bunch of clothes in there during like a yard sale that they held. So I grabbed these out of there. I think these are full length leggings. If they're not full length, they're like a seven eighth, but they're size small, so it's kind of hard to tell. They have a pretty like, stiff band I guess you could call it like compression it's not I don't know if it's meant to be a full compression waistband but it feels like a lot of compression and it has looks like it has a little hidden pocket in the waistband I don't know I have no idea what Puma leggings go for or if people even like Puma anymore so I guess we'll find out <laughs> this next item I'm gonna need your guys help with so this is a pair of lululemon like jogger capris, I think is what you would call them. This is the only Lululemon item I have ever found. And it's not something we, I find very often in my area. Like, I don't think a lot of people in my area wear that. Um, I did spend $8 on these, which is more than I would typically spend on something. I think I got excited because it was Lululemon. So hopefully that, uh, hopefully that works out for me. But they're just, Let's see. They're like really baggy. And then they have this big waistband. So I bought these from a children's consignment shop near me that does maternity clothes as well. And these were in the maternity section. Now I've never heard anyone say that Lululemon makes maternity. So you'll have to let me know if you know if they make maternity clothes. I don't know if this is just like a nice stretchy band that is handy for people who are pregnant. I mean, I would love this when I was pregnant. But I, I, I don't know. It doesn't say anything on the tags about being maternity. So maybe it's just a really comfy waistband. Uh, and then it has these like elastic at the bottom with a little bit of a slit. It's got pockets. It does still have the tag attached. And it says they're size 12. But I don't know haven't seen anywhere where it says like a style number or anything like that. I don't know if that's something that they would have. Oh, actually I just saw a video recently where someone was talking about the little, I know they did the size dots inside the pocket, but I didn't know apparently this number should be a style number. So I'll have to look it up. I did try looking these up on Lulu Fanatics before and I couldn't find this exact style. So I'm gonna have to research these all over again, but paid eight. No idea what I can get for these. No idea if they make maternity. Hopefully that number will tell me. But if you know, please drop it in the comments. Next I have another pair of leggings. I don't know if I'd say these are really workout leggings, but I'm gonna include them. Kind of have this like moto style to them. They're American Eagle. They're just black with this like textured ribbed, I don't know, patches on them. They're pretty cool. I don't, I don't know if you'd wear them to work out, but they're called the everything legging. And these are a size small and they look small. These look tiny. They're like smaller than my shoulder width. And the tag says they were $7. I feel like these were on a dollar tag when I bought them, but I don't know for sure. So I know I looked them up at the store though to make sure they'd be worth picking up and I must have decided they were. So we'll see what those bring us. Next is another pair of leggings. These are like a capri legging. These are actually Zumba uh, capris, which I bought for myself potentially. I don't do Zumba anymore, I did in college, but um, just because I thought they'd be nice to work out in, but I don't really like the way they fit me. So they're this like dark heather gray. And I'm pretty sure this waistband is meant to be folded down when you wear them. Just kind of hard to show, but here we go. Here's the Zumba logo. And the tag looks like that. So they're size medium. And I don't really know how they do. I feel like I looked these up as well and but they did pretty well, which is why I picked them up because I figured if I didn't like them, then I could sell them, which I don't like them. <laughs> uh, 
and they have this like thicker cuff, but I think these come like right to the knee or just below the knee. Right there. A little bit past the knee. I'm not sure. Those may be like $18, $15, somewhere around there. But I think these were also a dollar when I picked them up. Okay, next, we finally have another top. So this one is a sweatshirt. With, it's not really a hoodie. I guess it's a hoodie. I don't know. This is what it looks like. It's not very good lighting, is it? Let me try this side. There we go. It's like a, a maroon camo pattern almost. There you can kind of see it. So this is Fabletics and it has this, it is a hoodie, but it's like a cow neck hoodie. So it's kind of hard to show. This is the Fabletics hoodie. It's a size medium, I'm assuming. No, it's a size small, okay. It's a size small and I haven't sold Fabletics before. I know they can do well because I think their pieces only come out for a certain amount of time and then they're gone. Um, and I picked this up for myself at a yard sale because it looked oversized. I mean, it's pretty, I figured it would fit me. It's actually still oversized on me and I'm like a medium. So I don't really like the big baggy boxy fit and I did not like the cow neck. So that's why I'm selling it. I think I paid like $2 for it maybe. And I think it has pockets. Yeah, it has a kangaroo pocket on the front. And then it also has these like side zip, I don't know what it's for, side zip details though on each side. It only zips up like right above where the kangaroo pocket would start. And I did comp this out once before just because I was curious. I think it, I think it was around like 30, which would be awesome. So I don't think it's really cropped though, just really wide. So just an oversized, oversized hoodie really soft. The next item is from my personal closet. This is just a pair of leggings from Amazon. So I'm not sure what the brand is. I don't even know if it has a brand in there, but they're like these seamless ombre leggings. And then once again, I think this is meant to be folded over. That's how I used to wear them. Um, I just, I don't know, I don't wear them that much. So I'm going to pass on them. They fit like a medium. I'm not sure exactly what size they are. Yeah, I think it was like a screen printed tag and it probably just wore off from being washed, but they're in really good condition. They don't have any wash wear or pilling or anything like that. So I don't know. I guess this is the front of them technically. It's got a little bit of this like, keep going on that side. There we go. <laughs> Got a little bit of this kind of detail going down the front of the legs. Maybe 15 bucks, I don't know. That's actually all the active wear I have, and that was eight pieces. So I pulled two more pieces that weren't active wear. Um, and this one, this first one is just a kid's jacket. It's actually my son's size, but he has a whole bunch of jackets because guess what? His mom buys a lot of stuff at thrift stores and yard sales because I have a problem. But I just thought this was so cute. He loves Mickey Mouse, so I can't show it to him or he'll wanna keep it. But it's just this little Mickey Mouse Farsi jacket. It's more like a spring jacket. That's why it wasn't in my other like outerwear pieces because it's not that heavy. It's not winter really. Um, and it says 1928 class mouse. And in the back, just like really cool it's like a little varsity jacket I thought it was really cute so it's a size four and it's actually from the Disney store I know Disney store stuff can be really expensive I don't know how it resells so I'll have to see I don't know if it's kind of like the Disney parks where you know it can be a more or it can be worth a little bit more and then the inside is just like this satiny it's a little bit insulated. It's not like really thick, but it has, it's a little bit more than just a regular jacket. So I have no idea. We'll see what that one does. All right. And the last item I have is a robe and it's a plush robe. It's by the brand Pink. 
I don't know how I'm going to show this thing to you guys. It's like a giant blanket. Let's see. There we go. It's just super branded black with black and white letters. It says pink all over it. So pink Victoria's Secret. It's a size extra small. Oop. Lost the tag there. There you go. And yeah, I have no idea, but I know Pink Victoria's Secret sells pretty well for me. This does still have its tie on it, which sometimes robes don't have. Uh, but it seems to be in really good condition. It's again one of those things I got from the yard sale down the road where she was moving. So I think this was also a dollar. All of her clothing items were like a dollar. And then that big Victoria's Secret blanket from the last video, that was also from her. I think that was two or three dollars because it was a blanket, but I think this one was only one dollar. So they don't always sell for a ton of money, but pink typically sells pretty quickly for me. So we'll have to look that up and see. It's about a knee length. So that is everything I have for you guys today. I appreciate you tuning in and watching this video, especially if you got to the end of it. If you did and you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, click the thumbs up, and also subscribe if you aren't already. Hit the bell notification so you know when I post a new video. Right now I'm planning on doing a new video every Wednesday. I don't really have time or a whole lot of content since I'm trying to list my death pile to be able to do more than one video a week. I am hoping to get some sort of GoPro action camera type camera um, once yard sale season starts up around April hopefully and I want to be able to film where I'm going. A lot of the thrift stores in my area do have signs up right when you get to the door that says you cannot film in there unless you have prior permission or whatever so I most likely won't be able to film in any thrift stores when I do go but I am hoping to be able to film at yard sales as I go out and do those once it warms up. I will also be posting a what sold video at the end of every month for right now. I don't make a ton of sales as far as being able to make a video every week or maybe every two weeks. If you want to see one every two weeks instead of every month, let me know. I think for the month of January, it's January 12th when I'm filming this. And I believe I have nine or 10 sales so far this month. So I don't know if it'd be better to do a shorter video of what's sold every two weeks or a longer one once a month. So let me know what you want to see. Let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.